How about something that you failed at when you were younger? Are you willing to tell us, like, I think we've all had some failures in our lives that, you know, we, we don't like to admit, but we all have. And how did you work through it? And uh, can you talk through that a little bit? You bet. Uh, you know, early in my career, um, this is actually a, a kind of a, the, the nature of Helmerk and Payne, but I was, I was charged in my first, you know, couple years at the company to design something for an offshore package. So, okay. again, mechanical, structural, uh, kind of engineering component, but I was designing something to do an offshore lift, and it was funny because I got done with the whole thing. I was pretty nervous because this thing was going to lift something over the water and set it on a barge that would help transport this thing out to the rig location in the Gulf of Mexico. So I got a call one day and someone sent me some pictures and it was, it was, looked like a pretzel. And oh the thing was somewhat messed up. Uh, my boss at the time said, check out the design. Let's see where we, uh, what happened and let's just look at it. Mm -hmm. um, so we look at it later and uh, we find out I hadn't made a mistake at all on this thing, but his patience taught me so much. What had happened is they had rigged up uh, what we call rigged up, or they had set up the lift wrong, so it, it had the, the wrong connecting points. So it wasn't maybe being used in the fashion it had been designed to be used in. Yes. But there are a couple learnings there. One, right, I, I loved the patience that, that my boss em implored there. You know, he did, he made it kind of a learning opportunity. And secondly, right, I could have been more clear with my, my instruction, maybe participated more in that design to see it through to make sure that the end user knew how it was supposed to be used properly. So I think it was a great opportunity. I had a lot of anxiety, right, from, from being new at the company, and it made me nervous, but I think it turned out to, to some th things I've never forgotten about. Oh, that's great. You play it forward, learn, absorb. Sounds like you did a bit of an observational analysis with your boss afterwards, identified what the challenges were, and you figure out a better way. If it's this, in this case, communicate a little better on where to put the rigging or whatever. It sounds like... Uh, it sounds quite normal, actually. Yeah. <laughs> right, right? Engineering new things is never easy, but it's fun. Yeah, and the big thing that stuck out to me there, right, is the patience. And I think as we, we grow in our careers, I understand that everybody starts somewhere. Everyone has that first day, and, mm -hmm. and, and that can often be a nervous position to be in, but that stuck with me. That's great. Well, that's, thank you for that. For more information on the innovations that are shaping our world, visit tomorrowsworldtoday.com or check out the Tomorrow's World Today Facebook and Instagram pages.